George Clooney and Miley Cyrus have happily called baby pigs their pets. Tori Spelling famously cares for a chicken named Coco, who sleeps in her bed. But those creatures are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to unusual animals that are legal to privately own in the U.S. So don't forget to watch today's video to the very end for the 10 pets you won't believe actually exist. Number 10. An Ant Eater Salvador Dali owned a pet ant eater. And you can too. It's been 50 years since eccentric artist Salvador Dali was photographed in Paris walking his pet anteater. But this unusual animal is still beloved by plenty of modern-day exotic pet enthusiasts. Especially beloved is the 10-pound Tamandua, the diminutive cousin of the giant anteater, which makes for a cuddly, non-violent companion in many states. Tamanduas love to gobble up termites and, you guessed it, ants, though this doesn't make them an effective form of pest control, according to many experts. Ranging in cost between $3,500 and $8,000, a pet anteater is suitable only for those with a robust budget. Building an enclosure and providing long-term care will more than double your purchase amount. The price of this unique mammal and the fact that they aren't readily available deters most exotic pet enthusiasts. Remember that anteaters need very special requirements. It is said that due to their unique environment needs and insatiable appetites, anteaters fare much better in their natural habitat than in captivity. In the wild, anteaters can live up to 14 years. However, in captivity, they only live around seven years. Number nine, a monkey. Owning a pet monkey is like raising a toddler for 40 years. Sure, monkeys are cute and in some ways remind us of tiny humans, but that's part of the reason they're such a handful to raise as pets. Monkeys require constant care and attention, and many will leave up to 40 years, according to the Primate Rescue Center. That means four decades of diapers, not to mention aggressive behaviors like biting and throwing feces. Still, that hasn't deterred exotic pet owners throughout the U.S. from owning everything from mischievous capuchin monkeys, like Ross had on Friends, to high-maintenance chimpanzees, think Michael Jackson's chimp, Bubbles. Taking on a pet monkey is not like caring for most other pets. A well-cared-for monkey can generally leave to be anywhere from 20 to 40 years old, and it will need your full commitment throughout its entire life. Sweet babies grow up into difficult adult monkeys and do not generally make good pets. Monkeys do not grow up and mature like human children do. They are, in essence, permanent toddlers. Pet monkeys also might not take well to new people in your life, including spouses and children, and they make it hard to get away for vacations. Plus, finding a new home for a pet monkey is extremely difficult and psychologically hard on the monkey. Furthermore, a monkey needs a large amount of social interaction. A pet monkey deprived of your time and attention will likely develop not only severe behavioral problems, such as screaming and biting, but also psychological issues that can be difficult to remedy. Primates, such as monkeys, might be illegal to keep as pets where you leave. And if a monkey is legal to own, permits still might be required. Sometimes permit holders are subject to home inspections to ensure proper facilities and care are being provided. Moreover, homeowner policies might require additional liability coverage, or some insurance companies might cancel your policy altogether if they find out you have a monkey. However, not having insurance puts you at risk if your monkey bites someone. Number 8. Two-Toed Sloths Two-Toed Sloths are the darlings of the exotic pet world. Just ask Chris and Bell. Actress Chris and Bell went viral in 2012 after she publicly burst into tears upon meeting a two-toed sloth. The internet largely agreed. These tree-dwelling creatures are irresistible. But they're also high-maintenance creatures that are accustomed to wild, tropical habitats that can't always be duplicated by pet owners. Even though sloths are legal to own in several states, the Sloth Conservation Foundation warns not to mistake their slow-moving nature for comfort. Stillness is actually a defense mechanism they've developed to blend in when they feel threatened by predators. Number 7. A Cougar A pet cougar can be tamed, but it can never be domesticated. Wildcats are just that, wild. Yet a number of U.S. states allow you to keep them in captivity, according to Big Cat Rescue. A popular choice for exotic pet owners is the cougar, which is obviously also a risky one. Though a privately owned cougar will eventually grow accustomed to his owners, it can never be domesticated like a dog or a cat. The best you can hope for is a docile and sometimes playful pet that won't crush you to death with its powerful jaw. Uninvolved people like family, friends, and neighbors can be affected. One of the horror scenarios for many owners is that their pet attacks other people. 
Even if your cat has very tame wild instincts, can still kick in at any time. Some people can't differentiate between the terms tamed and domesticated. The latter means that breeders selected the best characteristics to make the pets we know today. This process takes many generations and has definitely not taken place with cougars. Owners are aware of this problem and some don't like the risk involved. This is why sometimes the inhuman cruel act of declawing is done. While you could think that only the shark claws are removed, nothing is more wrong. Actually, it's the whole first part of the toes that is amputated. Balance and ability to climb and more are affected. Someone who thinks about doing such things to other living beings shouldn't own any pet at all. Number 6. A Llama If you're stressed out, consider a pet llama. The cool, low-key llama is often recruited as a therapy animal, which is why it makes such a great family pet in the states where it's legal. A pet llama is loyal, affectionate, clean, and generally low-maintenance as long as it has plenty of outdoor space, and preferably a furry cohort by its side as llamas are herd animals, according to Good Housekeeping. Need another compelling reason to adopt a few of these cuties? It turns out llamas rival guard dogs in their ability to ward off predators, according to Mother Earth News. Number 5. Kangaroos Kangaroos are controversial, but they're legal in some states. Though kangaroos are indigenous to Australia, some have made their way to backyards throughout the U.S. Many animal advocates, however, are fighting back against the laws that allow private citizens to keep them as pets, arguing that inhumane conditions have led to too many kangaroo deaths at the hands of unprepared caretakers. Wallabies, a smaller and more docile kind of kangaroo, are a bit more common in the exotic pet world. Elvis Presley briefly had a couple, but like their larger counterparts, they can also become dangerous when agitated, according to the Spruce Pets. Number 4. Tigers The majority of tigers leave as pets, not in the wild. About 5,000 tigers leave in legal captivity in more than a dozen states, many as privately owned pets, while the population of wild tigers has dwindled to about 3,890, according to the World Wildlife Fund. Owning a pet tiger may sound thrilling. Mike Tyson sure thinks so, but caring for it can be a serious challenge. A tiger's diet can consist of up to 88 pounds of meat in one sitting, and its enclosure should be as big as 40 square miles. While studies show tigers can peacefully coexist with people, any frustrated, cooped up cat has the capacity to eventually lash out. Number 3. An Alligator an alligator is a huge commitment, and it might outlive you. Believe it or not, it's legal to privately own this notoriously deadly reptile in a number of states, according to fine law, including the unofficial home of the gator, Florida. Pet owners tend to fall in love with baby alligators, which are less than a foot in length and virtually harmless. But adults can grow to be more than 11 feet long, weigh a whopping 1,000 pounds, and leave up to 50 years, according to the Smithsonian's National Zoo and Conservation Biology Institute. Plus, their carnivorous appetite is practically insatiable, and pet owners can be seen as tasty meals. Number 2. A Skunk Owning a skunk isn't as stinky as it sounds. Most domestic skunks have been bred in captivity, where they've had their scent glands removed at a young age, according to PBS. Some animal advocates have called the practice inhumane, as descended skunks likely wouldn't survive in the wild if they got lost. But those who call this surprisingly playful creature a pet in the 17 states where it's legal know that a very well-fed skunk that gets a lot of attention, affection, and discipline likely won't stray far from home. Number 1. A Porcupine A porcupine can be a pretty zigoing pet, but it can also be prickly. Yes, it's possible to pet a porcupine, and a number of states allow you to keep one as a pet, but safely handling this spiky rodent takes patience and skill. That lesson has been learned the hard way by one too many curious dogs who have found themselves on the receiving end of a quill attack. Porcupines can be trained to a degree, and some even grow to be affectionate toward humans. But bear in mind, they're solitary creatures who can become violent when agitated. With that, we end today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel in order to join in a next time for more of such interesting content.